Hello everyone, this is a very quick demonstration of the open spot. You can, see, you can see the complete setup here. In the back in the computer you can see I have the DV4 Mini software that I'm connected to the FCS003 on port 1. The DV4 Mini is over there. You can also that it is as well as my wire X connected to my repeater. You can see all the repeater connected here and I'll bring back so you see the DV4 Mini the repeater and the DV4 Mini is set up at the repeater frequency so what happens is when the signal comes from the DV4 Mini it transmits and it triggers the repeater and it goes through the wire X here what I have is the open spot the open spot is configured to be connected to FCS003 on port 1 and it is set up in DMR so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna transmit with a DMR radio you're gonna see the DV4 mini well the open spots gonna receive it the DV4 mini will transmit it will get on the repeater and you'll see that it'll go through wire X and the other way around I have here my uh, FT2DR which is set up to the repeater frequency so what's going to happen, it's going to be received by the DV4 Mini here and transmit to the open part in DMR. So let's start testing in digital narrow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transmit to the repeater VA2 PV testing. You can see VA2 PV. Okay, it's going to do a loop now. Sorry about that. Okay. So you can see you receive it on the DMR radio. So I'll just trigger it again. You'll see it goes through IRX. You see this one will be receiving and this one will be transmitting. You'll see the red light there. One, two, three. VA2 PV testing. VA2 PV testing. Okay. So now I'll do the other way around. I will trigger the TYT DMR radio. This one is a simplex frequency, it goes through air. We'll come back here and go as well into the wire X. I hope you can see my end doesn't cover it. VA2 PV testing. This one is transmitting and it goes through the wire X using my DMR ID. So that was what's going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trigger it here in voice wide. See what it does. It goes through, it transmits VA2 PV, but unfortunately, it will not, you will not hear any audio on the DMR radio since it's probably on the other side of the 625 kilohertz, 6.25 kilohertz. So if I put it back in DM, it will go through VA2 PV. So this must answer a few questions. I hope my, I will, I hope this was instructive and I would like to wish you my best 70 trees.